In this video, you'll learn how to generate personalized sales emails using AI. Hi, my name is Edric, founder of Days for AI. We increase business profits by dramatically reducing time wasted and costs by integrating AI into their workflows. Now, you don't need to be technical to understand this workflow. We'll be making custom sales emails based on a company's about page. This workflow automation makes it possible to generate targeted emails at scale. We're talking thousands of custom emails created in minutes. I'll show you how to think through the sequence. We'll see what really happens behind the scenes when someone says they're using AI to generate emails. So we'll go through an overview of this flowchart. Second, we'll go through each node in the flowchart and explain how it all works in practice, how it's implemented. Don't worry, I'll go step by step so you can really understand how the system works. And then third, for those of you who are curious, I'll go through an actual implementation using Llama 3 locally so you can generate those for free privately on your own computer. As always, the code will be in the description. And so with that being said, let's get started. The bare minimum we'll need as input for this whole process is the name of the person, your selling intent, and then the link to the about page of the company. The name of the person and the about page will help personalize the email for the reader. And then our selling intent enables us to make the offering relevant to them. Quick tip, with respect to personalization, using the company's about page is a good start. But using personal information, say from LinkedIn, would make the email even more compelling to the reader. The input data can be stored as a single row in a row-based file format like CSV or Excel. Think of the algorithm as going row by row and generating an output or an email for each one of them. This is one way you would make it scale to process thousands of emails in one go. Now that we have our input data sorted, we move on to scraping the about page. What we have here is a script or automation which does two things. First, it sends a request to Salesforce's web server, which eventually returns back the about page HTML. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is barely readable. It's not meant to be read by humans, which brings us to our second point where the script uses parsing techniques such as regex to remove those HTML tags and brings it much closer to the text we can directly read on the about page. This was our parsing step. Moving on to the summarizing step, LMs have something called a context window. It's a limit on how many words you can put in your prompt. If you've ever tried to paste the entire Wikipedia page of the Roman Empire and asked ChatGPT to summarize it, you've probably hit that limit. Quick tip, there's a website called artificialanalysis.ai where you can compare quantitatively the differences between all the latest models. One of the many attribute people pay attention to is the context window. You can see for the model we'll be using, it is 8.19 thousand tokens, which is on the lower end. We've chosen to summarize the about page for two reasons. It acts as a compression for further processing essentially reducing the number of tokens, making it easier to respect the context window limit. It can also help us remove noise such as tags that we weren't able to remove in the parsing step. We can now use our selling intent, the summarized about page, and the name of the person we're reaching out to to craft our personalized email. Here's where prompt engineering comes in handy. This is both art and science, and there are many ways to go about it. You've probably heard of techniques such as chain of thought, few shot learning, I will tip you $10 if you do this correctly, and other methods that you could use to shape the output. As you can see, in our case, we gave a couple of instructions, directions, and context. The last thing we need is a personalized subject line. As I got started, I realized there were a couple of times where the subject line generated would get way too long. Since we simply want something short and sweet, I tried a few things, and this is one of them that worked. You can also try yelling at the LM. It might not work, but it can be therapeutic. A more practical tip here is that you could generate three versions and you could use another model to rank and pick the best response. To recap, we first needed an input, which was in our case, a row with a name, selling intent, and the about page URL. We've scraped the about page, summarized it, and then took all of these to craft our email using the Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. And we then finished the process by generating a subject line using the same model. 